Hi, I'm Magaibo, and I'd like to give you my top 10 tips for surviving in Jita. Magaibo. Number one, ignore local chat. What well, seems like deals that are too good to be true, or games to earn isk or offers to double isk, they're the infamous Jita chat scams. Every day, people fall for these scams, making these folk rich and encouraging their nonsense. If you want to last in Jita, ignore this chat. Two, ignore suspect pilots. The Jita Undock usually has one or two pilots floating around, flashing suspect, baiting pilots to attack them. Don't. Don't do it. These will be tanked up beasts waiting to rip you apart, and if you don't believe me, check out their Z kills and see all the other pilots who died believing that attacking them was a good idea. Number three, do not accept fleet invites or challenges. Undocking from the GTA 4-4 market hub is sometimes enough to get you invites to PvP or join a fleet. Ignore them and also block the people sending them. Plenty of people would have inadvertently clicked yes to one of these prompts and found themselves getting blown up or fleet warped to somewhere else to be scanned or podded before they know it. So never click on these invites. Never, ever. Number four, never warp to the station, especially if you're in a Sinesis or blockade runner. The station docking point is like the Wild West. Set a bookmark instead and warp to that. Then when you're in warp, put on autopilot and if you've selected the station as your destination, you warp and dock as soon as you land. Watch the video linked above for all the details. Rule number five, never undock with expensive stuff in a small ship. The last six years of my EVE gameplay has been funded by people who thought it was a good idea to put skill injectors or plex in small ships and then fly them around Jita. Do not join their ranks. Rule number six, have patience when selling and buying on the market. Up until recently, we had the one isk wars where people were manually or using bots to change their market prices by one isk to try and outbuy or outsell other pilots. But with the changes to the minimum amount that you can adjust prices by, it's far more profitable to set a realistic price and be patient. Rule number seven, double and triple check war decks. If you're in a corp or alliance that's subject to war decks, be absolutely sure that you are in the middle of a conflict before you enter Jita or undock from 4-4. War deckers like Black Flag make a living from the ignorance that people have of the war deck system in market hubs. If you remain aloof, then you'll stay off their kill board. Rule number eight, never autopilot. Don't do it. Not in areas like Jita, Perimeter, Armar, Uadama, anywhere that gankers are around. It's like an open invite to scan your ship and take your stuff. Autopiloting is an open declaration that you're not too fussed about being blown up. Similarly, rule nine, never fly a leopard or a boobuck. Another way to have a target on your back is to fly a leopard or a boobuck in Jita. And with mid-warp smart bombing being a fun thing to do, it's an extremely dangerous thing to try. Even if you're not carrying anything precious on board, a leopard kill is something that a ganker does just for fun. It's a quarter of a billion isk ship, which you can kill in a T1 Thrasher. So don't fly them, you'll die. Finally, rule 10 for surviving in Jita, double check those plex and large skill injector contracts. If you're accepting a contract in Jita, be completely sure of what you're paying for it. Sometimes people slip in ridiculous prices or expensive items as things that you will be paying upon completion of the contract. Take a look at some of the live contracts and see what I'm talking about. Be very careful. If you follow those 10 rules, you've got a lot better chance of surviving in Jita. I'm Magaibo, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.